Can you reach the floor to bang? Bye. <laughs> Hello, friends. We just did. Did we just do gym class? Yeah. He did really well. I worked with him. Let's go get it. Let's see what I had. A flashlight. It's so cool. Daddy's old DJ flashlight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's do our walk because we need to do nap time. Hello everyone, it is time for us to get ready for bed. It is nine o'clock exactly. Sebastian did a nap. I know you saw him, but before he even tried to start napping, he's like, can you please take a video of me pretending to sleep? Cause I had had him do that once when we forgot to film him napping and he thought it was really funny. Hmm. He didn't nap. It was awful. It wasn't quite as violent. He didn't hurt me as much. He did spend a half an hour like kind of poking and whacking at me, but nothing like super bad. But yeah, he wasted a lot of my time because he kept saying, oh yeah, yeah, I'll nap and getting into bed and then it all would go downhill again. So we gave up round four. He lost it on the opportunity for me to order takeout, but Jax was so amazing, such a huge help to me that I ended up making them a good dinner, like a treat dinner. They had scrambled eggs and then I made a pancake buffet. A bunch of little mini pancakes in different flavors for them to just grab and eat until they were ready to explode. Um, I don't know what I have filmed today. We didn't go anywhere, we just did our walks. Sebastian did this class. It was only our second time doing it this week. It was such a struggle on Monday that I didn't really try super hard to get to the other classes. We would be out on a walk and I would just stick with it. I don't know why they're getting so loud. Guys, I need you to stay calm, okay? Choose your books and, and do it. Yeah, you're gonna have to pee, which is really annoying when you're in that pajamas. So please don't drink anything else. I don't know what I'm saying. What was I saying? What was I saying? I wish I could just rewind without stopping. Anyway, I don't know what I have filmed. We 
had breakfast. We had our walk. What did we do after that, Piggy? I don't even know. I did backups on my computer and some emails for work. I'm gonna be doing some work over the weekend, so we're just getting everything lined up, getting the files ready. I need to answer another email about that. And then we were gonna have a late lunch after the class, a class is what I was talking about. But Sebastian decided the last minute he wanted lunch, so I heated up their leftovers. We quickly ate and then rushed up to class. So the class was like the theme was just like a chair basically. <laughs> there wasn't a big theme. There was a song about a chair being alive and you had to do all these different things, all these tasks. And then other songs like musical chairs and stuff like that. So it was just chair. And it went so fast on Monday that he was so discouraged and he just ended up laying on the floor crying and just frustrated. And I would try to help, but by the time I'd explain something, they'd already be two steps ahead and he would get upset. So this time I helped, but I just did things. Like I would just do the things. And if he didn't join in in time, that was fine. I did that part and he would do the next part, but he actually was like with it and was keeping up. So that went much, much better. Ended the, the class week on a high note. And hopefully he'll be better able to do next week's class. We'll find out tomorrow what things we need for the class. They don't tell us the theme, but we do get little hints. They'll tell us, do we need to make a fort? Do we need our tapping sticks? So yeah, class was done. He wanted another walk before nap. I always say yes, because I hope that it's gonna help with nap. <laughs> yeah, we already covered that part. Um. Nothing much happened. You heard that I made dinner. I've been doing some knitting. I haven't been on Animal Crossing at all today, so I need to do that after Sebastian's asleep. And I'm working on braiding. I am alternating between trying to do the, the few that are left back here. There's like about 20 that are still lavender and redoing ones that are bad. I do need to redo the ones along the neck, my neck because they're already a month old but I'm gonna just do what I can tonight and tomorrow I am bleaching those roots even if there's some old ones I tend to like to bleach it after I do them all because the braids do c cover some of my natural hair and if the dark blonde is in there which it is a little bit and I bleach there will be polka dots of dark blonde later if I redo the braid, it might end up out, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. Even sometimes I get polka dots when I just bleach it and leave it because I try to be gentle with my hair. I do want it bleached so I can have this part pink, but I don't care that much. I don't leave it on too long. I do have dark blonde hair, which lightens really quickly. I've already said this in the past. It lightens to peepee yellow, which is not really what I would love. I'd rather it to be naturally ashy, but it is what it is. And some lavender in my conditioner does help. I'm doing pink, so I don't bother to tone it too much because I do like a peachier pink. We'll see. I'll probably mix up a pink and put a few drops of purple into it to help cool it off. But yeah, I really, really, really wanna do the bleach tomorrow when I have my husband here and I can abandon the children for an hour to put it in and then really, really rinse it out. You just have to rinse really well when you have any sort of braids or dreads or something and you're bleaching. You need it all out. I It's one of the only times I shampoo my roots. I usually am shampoo free and only shampoo the ends of the synthetic hair. But when I bleach, I shampoo twice. <laughs> I shampoo, 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 and then I put in whatever conditioner I've mixed up, usually with a little bit of the color that I'm going to be doing, and leave that in while I finish my shower, and then I shampoo again the ends, like I thoroughly rinse the top and I shampoo the ends because I can't leave conditioner on the synthetic hair, it just feels greasy, so 
So I always end with shampoo on the ends. I actually even use body wash on the ends. Body wash followed by shampoo to really get the grime off of it. It's just plastic hair, so. Yeah, that's the plan tomorrow. I don't know what else besides that work. I do need to do some chores. I need to clean the entertainment center because we sent back the boxes that used to be here. We've just now replaced clocks both here and there, but I know I'm gonna clean and dust, especially down there. There's a big empty spot and we can finally deal with the game, video game stuff a little better, but I might need some baskets. I don't know, I need to figure that out. And yeah, I've just talked for eight minutes about nothing. So let's just peek in on them and then we're gonna say goodnight. Waiting at the door in warm sunshine makes Duffy sleepy. So he takes his before breakfast nap. Puppy book. I need to put some more books on hold because they're going through them pretty quickly. Jax earns uh, 30 cents per book he reads to his brother. So he's motivated. Um, he was finally getting to have some screen time. I cut everybody off, no screens, after Sebastian didn't nap because I didn't want him to go downstairs and immediately zombie veg out in front of his iPad because he was very tired. By 5.30 he was yawning and saying, I'm so tired. I'm like, of course you are, he didn't nap. So nobody's been on any screens. Everybody's been either playing with toys or doing parlor beads. It's been nice. There has been some crazy running around times from Sebastian, but Mostly, everybody's been chilling. After dinner, I finally let Sebastian do a little bit of screen time because I would I did want him to chill out for the last like 40 minutes before we came up. But Jax has been doing no screens except for using his iPad to look up pearl bead patterns. So just when we came up, he asked to do the switch until his bedtime, which is 9:30 on the weekends, and I said yes, but. Sebastian really wanted to stick with his normal routine of his brother reading to him, so called him up and said, just watch the clock. However long you take to read, you can stay up that much later, so. At this point, he gets to stay up 10 minutes later than normal, but he'll probably read a few more books and we'll just add that on. My husband is out with his friend, it's Friday. So they are, he's at his house. It didn't rain here, so they probably could have come here and sat out on our porch, but. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure they'll do that at some point. He's done it once. But he won't be home probably till one or two, so not a big deal if Jax is down there a little late. He's been a huge help to me, so he deserves it. I've got the piggy hair. Let me actually turn on the light so you can see. There's the pigs. I'm sorry, did I turn the light on? So he'll hang out with me. He'll follow me to say goodnight to Jax when he's in bed and then I'll head downstairs. I'll probably give him a little time down there. Maybe I'll do the animal crossing down there. I don't know. And then I'll let him out to potty. We'll come up here it's maybe 11 or 12 and I'll keep him in here while I'm braiding until my husband gets home. And he can probably create him at that point. I will braid. I cut myself off at 2 a.m. And yeah, that's gonna be my night. Oh gosh, it's been so long. I'm so sorry, guys. Good night, stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow for Saturday and more quarantine, pandemic, lockdown, whatever you wanna call it. Bye guys, wash your hands.